Look at this. It doesn't get any better. Refrigerator in the background. I've got the oven in the foreground and a place to work here beside me. I've gathered everything up. Now it's time to make a dish. We're going to do a salad of celeriac with some fried off new potatoes. We'll add in some radish. I've got some lemon and some wild flowers, wild thyme, and a stunning piece of cod. So to get started, the order is potatoes first. Touch of oil, splash of butter, ready to go, look at that. It's exactly the noise you want. And then my new potatoes. And they go like that. So I'll get all golden and caramelized and crunchy, which is important with a dish. We want some soft flavors, we also want some crunchy flavors. Now the salad. Got myself a bowl and some celeriac here. I've chopped this up, just a little bit of radish, add some color. Lemon, great with fish, any kind of fish really. So just keep him nice and fine, chop him up. Works fantastically with any fish. So in with those. And then here, I've got some seeds that I toasted off earlier. Pumpkin seeds, pine kernels, and some sunflower seeds. So sprinkle a bit of them in there. And some olive oil. Finish that with a squeeze of lemon juice. And that's our salad done, really. Back to the potatoes, which are turning a lovely golden brown colour. I add some of the beautiful wild thyme, which I literally collected minutes ago. They just need to sit there and wait for us now. This fish is all about the fish. It's got to be a great piece of fish, and this is a beautiful, thick, filleted piece of cod. I want to make some nice pieces, so straight down through the skin. Another one here. A little bit of salt. Little sprinkle of the salt, a little bit of oil. Just put it straight on the fish here on the board. It's nice that way. It doesn't get too much oil on it. Now put some butter in the hot pan and I'm ready to fry the cod pieces. I can't wait to taste it. Right then, that's ticking away in there. What we need to do is get this dish plated up. So nice big white plate. Potatoes can come over. Beautifully golden crispy exactly what we were looking for with this number. I add some salad on top of the potatoes. Make sure to get the seeds out of the bottom. They add a nice little tasty crunch to this dish. So I'm gonna pop some of this wild sorrel in here. It's a beautiful flavor. Very, very citrusy. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. The cod is just flaking away. And that flakiness of cod is what this Greenlandic cod is famous for, and it's what we all like about cod. It's this lovely, big, fat bit of cod shoulder. It was on the top of the fillet. So he can just sit there like that. It's a fantastic Greenlandic cod dish on these Greenlandic new potatoes. I've got some wild sorrel we've just found up here in the valley. I've got my wild thyme in there, but it was always gonna have to be a fairly special kind of dish to get anywhere near matching that. 